Hey boys and girls, Old Man's Adventures here. Going to uh, give you a tour of my Sonata Roamer e-bike and some of the mods that I've done to it. Haven't done a whole lot of modifications to this, uh, just a few. Uh, first of all, I couldn't stand the SLMRO in big white letters there on the, de on the uh, top tube. So, I had some stickers made up with Old Men's Adventures in a color that matched the bike and I put them on the ply over that SMLRO because to me that's just gross. Okay, so I've done that. Uh, I have changed the pedals. As you can see, blue pedals, a little bit of red accent on them. Uh, on the... Uh, on the back here, the back fender, it came with a, uh, uh, the fenders and uh, they flop excessively. So I've got a cable tie, a zip tie right there that's uh, holding that up to that little license plate bracket on the, on the uh, rack. Uh, another uh, another uh, modification I made is this thing comes rigged for speed it had a 52 or 54 tooth uh, i can't remember now which one it is uh sprocket on the front and uh it was absolutely ginormous uh it would run 30 miles an hour without any problem but i don't need to go that fast and so i changed that out to a uh first i had to change the crank arms to get to a 104 bolt center diameter uh, sprocket and then I changed to a 42 tooth uh, sprocket and uh, put a uh, FMX TR, FMF XTR uh, chain guard on the front of that so that it wouldn't eat my pants. Uh, also have changed the rear shock. It was originally 850 pounds per square per inch compression rate and uh, it bottomed regularly so I have changed that to a 1500 pound uh, per inch shock which uh, now it doesn't bottom haven't bottomed that one yet so also the front up here I changed the fork to a max light from Amazon uh, uh, fat tire fork uh, have had no trouble with it it's an air fork I've got about 120 pounds of pressure in it no problem there I uh, like that a lot now you can see on this front fender what I was talking about about the flop there's no way to, st to steady that one uh, then up here on the grips I hated these grips that come st stock on this thing so I carefully took a hacksaw and hacked this one off because that's my throttle and then I hacked my grip uh, as well and uh, put it on there but I wanted a set of color color coordinated grips so there we go also when I installed the fork I put a blue spacer on there and this uh, star looking top cap and uh, this is my night eyes phone holder uh, works real well the only problem with it is uh, when you put a phone in it uh, my phone times out the screen times out on it and uh, the fingerprint readers on the back so that makes it kind of useless but uh, I didn't find I didn't figure that out until after I'd already put it on the brakes on this thing are uh, while they are mechanical completely mechanical brakes they I have not seen the need to uh, to change them out because they work extremely well I have had no issues with the brakes whatsoever two finger braking is entirely uh, doable so anyway that's what I wanted to show you was uh, the the uh, uh, modifications I've made to my Sonata Roamer uh, it's a good bike it's just a little bit weak on hills 
Uh, I was really shocked because this is supposed to be a thousand watt hub motor and I thought it would have twice the power of my 500 watt hub motor bike and it doesn't have twice the power of the 500 watt bike uh, but it is a little bit a little bit more powerful and it's it's fun to ride uh, I like it but it, it has taken some modifications to make it uh, trail worthy as I would say so just wanted to go go over it with you and show you the uh, modifications I'd made have a great one old man's adventures out